as we know, birds sometimes defecate on your car. And at this time of year, that's very bad for the paintwork because the lacquer is soft. What? Where are you going with this, mate? Where I'm going is this. A bird defecated on my car this week. Well, oh, well that's to terrible. be fair, that's not that unusual, mate. It'll have happened to people here. <laughs> not like this. OK, I've brought an iPad here. I know how they work, of course. <laughs> here is the bird. Yes, it's some bird poo on your back window. Now, that's a significant actually... quantity of bird poo, would you not? You'd say, that's a big bird that did that. Look at this. <laughs> It gets to there and you think, it must be the end. <laughs> that is a metre of faeces! <laughs> what bird can do a metre of faeces? I am two metres tall and I can't do a metre of faeces. Hang on, you live in Oxfordshire, you've got yes. those red kites there and they are big birds. They are big birds and they are carnivores. Now, I examined this faeces and there were seven cherry stones in it. <laughs> Had a field mouse in a cherry jus in Oxfordshire. It didn't. If it, the cherry stones were in its gut, it must have eaten the cherry hole, which means it must have had a mouth like a Peugeot. <laughs> what kind of bird can have a gallon of guano in its gut and still take off and achieve sufficient altitude to defecate on my Range Rover? Big one. What? It was a flying cow. What? <laughs> James, you really do live in Hammersmith, don't you? <laughs> We should bear in mind this is the man who believes cows lay eggs. And he <laughs> does. He <laughs> said that on the show. You I said that. I you... said eggs come from cows. Well, <laughs> <laughs>